hi everybody so I'm going to uh, go through and show you guys how to use a tool called the soft selection tool in Maya so what that means is that it's a way of uh, picking a surface so that if I grab these uh, points at the moment when I'm in component mode and I'm selecting these faces and then I move them around you will notice that we get all the stretching through here all these polygons become really 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 long and thin and it's, it's not really what we want what would be great is if we could move some of these other polygons with it so it's more like we're moving a, a lump of clay uh, and it looks a bit more organic so one of the ways we can do that is by activating a tool called the soft selection tool uh, to activate the soft selection tool we double click here in the selection menu and there's an option here called soft select now if you can't see that just click that little bar and it'll pop down it'll be one of those pop down menus now if I choose soft selection and I go back into Maya back into my main window here and uh, I click on a face you'll notice that there's now it's changed color around the edges you can see that there's now a bit of a gradation uh, a bit of a fall off from yellow to red to black and what that means is that if I now move that uh, face it's going to pull some of those other faces around it with it as it moves and it's going to affect it based on what color it is so the yellow is going to be the most affected by what's being moved orange slightly less red the least and black is going to be just slightly affected as we move it so this is a this is a great tool for quickly wanting to shape um, and uh, grab some spots and move them around and create a shape that's a bit more organic um, now the uh, the quickest way to access this is actually to hit the B key on the keyboard so the B key toggles this on or off and we can also hold down the B key the left mouse button and scrub left or right and you can see that we can also increase or decrease the fall off of the soft selection tool so if I wanted to grab a large part of that sphere and shift it I can stretch it all the way out and yeah now I'm grabbing that large part of the sphere if I just want to edit a smaller part of the sphere I can hold down the B key left mouse button and I can go to move over to the left hand side of the screen and you'll see that that brush gets quite small now not only can we also move these but we can also rotate them and we can also scale them as well and it'll affect all the um, vertices evenly around it um, this is great if we're wanting to say work with a, uh, a cylinder I've got a little cylinder here and uh, you know I'm wanting to move that around I can grab those verts and now I can kind of pull that in twist that down scale him in maybe grab these guys here scale those down as well you make that a little bit smaller so I don't want to affect everything quite so much pull that down a bit and very quickly you can see we can create some really interesting sort of organic looking shapes with the soft selection tool now to switch this off uh, it's pretty easy you just hit the B key and you just go back to regular selection mode and then it'll only affect the uh, the vertices that you have selected so that's a quick rundown on how to use the soft selection tool in Maya